having me. Um, I wanted to talk to you about how attackers basically um, how they using and abusing our blind spot in the organization today and also focus on one of I think the most common attack techniques um, in, in advanced attacks today so I have only six minutes so I will start with uh, Second? Yeah. I will start with four facts um, from, from the industry, from the security industry. Uh, one of them is that 100% of security breaches today are involved stolen credentials. 95% of the organizations worldwide, and I guess 100% of all the, orga the organizations that sit here today, are using Active Directory. Um, and, and Active Directory basically contains all the information about the users, about us, about the computers, about the, their credentials, and, and other PII that was stolen from, from Target and, and others. So basically Active Directory responsible for all the authentication and the authorization in the organization, inside and outside, through cloud services, through mobile devices, and, and, and other uh, VPNs and, and, and other uh, entry points. So now you, you basically can understand how and why it's, it's, it's a critical uh, a junction or, or source of information for the attackers today. Um, and, and I wanted to share with you my bank story, and, and I will do it very, very quickly. Uh, it started back in 2011 uh, when I did a penetration testing in one of the biggest banks. They had all the, the best of breed security solutions, and still they didn't have, they didn't basically uh, uh, detected my attack path internally. Um, and and they hired me for two weeks just to show them what a, 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 an attacker can do inside the network. Um, and 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 they didn't give me any specific goal. They just uh, <laughs> told me, you, you will sit here and start work. Uh, uh, and, and then I, 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 I started thinking, how can I build my attack path internally very quickly without spending weeks of learning the, the entire network? And then I realized that, that everyone has access to, to Active Directory and the, all the information in Active Directory. So I, I used the legit tools in a legit way and I queried all the information inside. I queried all the usernames, all their titles, the management hierarchy, their phone numbers, emails, group memberships, locations, uh, and, and other useful information. And, and I started playing with the data. And, and in less than, than, I guess, 20 minutes, I found three, more than 300 test accounts and POCs accounts that nobody changed their passwords for, for one year. So I decided that I will use the least privileged accounts and not the privileged accounts to basically uh, uh, to do my attack. And, and, and I think, um, um, and, and then I, I started brute forcing their passwords against Active Directory in a very slow and sophisticated way. And in, and in less than one hour, I had four accounts and their passwords. And my next step in the attack path, or my goal was to, to steal an identity um, or from a computer and not from the, the Active Directory. So I used those accounts that, that I had their passwords to log into a workstation and basically steal the identity from there. And, 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 and from that moment, it's a game over because I managed to steal the hash of the password of the user and, and the authentication tickets from the computer and access resources on behalf of the user without knowing their passwords. By the way, this was uh, a computer that the domain admin logged in before. So this is why I, I targeted this, this specific computer. And, 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 and it's very, very dangerous because from that moment, uh, I, I, I basically accessed resources without his knowledge and without knowing his password, which leads me to, to uh, the, the most, I think, common technique today which called pass the hash. And, and I, I, I really wanted to give you four facts about it uh, uh, because it's, it's one of the most, I think, dangerous ways because it's, it's totally legit. 
So pass the hash means that you are basically is the use of credentials on the workstations is basically to maintain a single sign-on uh, 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 process. The, the second fact is if you want single sign-on, you are exposed and you cannot fix it because this is how single sign-on works. And the last fact is that this is not a Windows problem. If you are using a Linux device and using uh, some kind of authentication, you are exposed to the same threat. So I just want to tell you three things before I'm done. Uh, from our experience at Air Auto, I recommend you the, to track the behaviors of users, computers, and resources, um, basically to pay attention to the blind spot, and last thing, do not trust logs. Thank you very much.